Hello! Oh, it's been a while since I've done some drifting. Let's get started. So, if I remember correctly, we had just discovered that this door had gone unexplored. Well, we can't have that. Oopsie. But, no big disaster. Well, time to check everything as usual. My, that's ominous music, though. Of course it's locked. I don't even know how to deal with this. Well, time to press forward. That switch is temporary, if I understand these systems correctly. And also, we have two ways to go. Well, that definitely could have been worse. Ooh, could have been... I'll definitely accept more of those. But I wonder, I haven't seen a four-step door. I've seen the eight-step door, but... Oh. Where'd those things come from? Uh, well, regardless. According to this map, there's not much left to do in this side of the underground. But the map has neglected a lot of things. So let's see what we got. Oh, looking at a couple of <clears throat> previous videos, I noticed that the shot absorption dash actually takes the shot energy and puts it into ammo. Which also explains why it sometimes doesn't work. Apparently when your ammo is full, um, you, you don't absorb it properly or whatever the problem is. And it looks like that's just the way forward towards the boss. Is that really everything? I mean, it looks like it is. Trixie, aren't you? But this this absorption dash adds kind of a new dynamic, which I like. 
which is that it isn't uh, necessarily good to all to conserve ammo and have it at full because that means you can't absorb it anymore uh, as a defensive function. Oh man, that's bad. That's really bad. I didn't even notice the robot that woke up in the lower part. So, as I said, probably not more, but I wanted to check around there at least a little bit more in case I missed something last time. I mean, don't even tell me that's not a possibility. sure I handled that before, but I don't know how. Alright. To level with people unfamiliar, what happened was I did a whole bunch of uh, sections of this game in a row to create a nice bit of backlog. And which means that I have not played this game for rather some time so I'm slightly unfamiliar with things. Maybe I should trigger this and just go back. Or, I don't know. That's definitely the boss door. But it feels like the section to get there is more difficult. Okay. Apparently I didn't do it right. Oh well. So, there wouldn't be, by any chance, nah, I, I've clearly been there before since, um, oh well, since that money had already been claimed, or whatever you want to call it. Well, I got something done, at least. So I think the next step is to search for these last two pieces. And it looks like this entrance here will be a good start. First I'll check to the left. I don't think I've explored much that way. Oh? Am I actually... No, I can't be trapped here. Because I can still teleport back to town after all. However, it looks like going over to the left is not going to be as easy as the map would indicate, which is a shock, an absolute surprise to anyone familiar with Hyperlight Drifter.
Well, I'll start by going around and up and see if I can find a way. I don't know the way, but... Maybe this will help. Alright. Oh, wrong weapon. My, but that absorption is quite handy. Well, that was certainly a thing that worked out. Which can only mean that the game is trying to deceive me. Oh, hello. That is extremely rude. So, what else is this way? There's another one with a rocket launcher here. So I better be quick about that. So, the rocket guy will thankfully not want to fire point blank. And I know that I haven't been here before because that uh, enemy dropped a hyper light quarter that I had not found before. That was uncharacteristically easy. Oh, I thought that was something that was not a pit. Well, I've been wrong about that sort of thing before. Now, what, pray tell, is this? Did I just collect a piece that was not even on the map? I don't even know what to say about those monolith things anymore. Except, of course, that I still don't know what they do. daunting. But hey, I gotta get through somehow. Okay then. I'm really glad that those enemies weren't placed the other way around. Rocket guys on inaccessible ledges are always a pain.
Can I actually dash that far, though? I didn't think so. I can dash that far, though. Alright. My, but there are a lot of you here. Well, let's get started with, by firing the wrong gun. Oh, traps. Ooh, that was close. That's tenacious. And here I thought that it would run out after a while. I was clearly wrong. something anyway. Ah, uh, such a shame. In another game this might have been a pilotable robot thing. But in this game I'm more likely that to have to fight it. This looks like a challenge is forthcoming. something like that. Is it trying to fool me into thinking there's something over here? Because I, I don't see anything over here. Blah. Man, the artist did some great work on these broken down machines. Definitely looks like I should be able to use some of these weapons, though. Ah, no such luck. I'm kind of disappointed, though, that I haven't found any secrets around here. Because I know that it doesn't mean anything that I haven't found them. I've, there's probably a bunch that I've walked past. wasn't smart of me. Oh, I 
didn't know those could combo. I'm more accustomed to some iframes when getting hit. It also shows why corners are not very nice here. Sorry for him now. There's definitely more bosses around here than there were before, though. That one only took me two tries. Well, that's because I um, cheated and got an upgrade that's perfect for dealing with this sort of thing. Is that three pieces in one video? I haven't had that pace for a long time. Wow, I I hope you don't wake up anytime soon. Have I been up here before? I don't think so. Nope, definitely haven't. Two monoliths, no key pieces. Uh, oh well. like... Oh, wait. Now I think about it, the map has displayed more of that stuff than usual. No, wait, what's more likely is that uh, it's been marking the stuff that I found and originally only four of them were revealed. So at least I have some idea of where to go next. I think I'm gonna save that for another time. I've gotten some progress done. So even though there's nothing to buy, let's go home and call it a day. I hope you uh, enjoyed watching my aimless drifting, because I kind of enjoyed being the drifter this time. Except for the whole impaled by the technological darkness creature thing. That, that could have afford to go with that. Later!